Hi everybody, it's Amanda. I know you can't see me, but I am here, I promise. Uh, I've just got back from the Christmas shop. I did go early um, because of the parts being closed and things and people saying that the shelves were empty and one thing and another. Well, I thought I can bring you an update to um, what I discovered while I was there. Um, I've, I'm not going out again now, that's it. I've done till after Christmas. The, the, I've got quite a lot of food today, but um, it is to see us over next week as well. So I will um, give you a little tour, a little nosy of what I've bought. Um, the only thing I couldn't get were, were limes out of the citrus fruit. I wanted oranges, lemons, limes. The only thing I couldn't get, as I say, were limes. Or lime juice. They didn't have any lime juice either, either at Marks and Spencer's. Or at Tesco um, so well at my ones anyway they might have them where you are but that was the only thing that I was let down by that I couldn't get either of those but it don't really matter I can make do I've got a little bit of lime juice so um, right so without further ado I'll start I've laid everything out um, so I'll start here I got this fast because I'm wanting to do a table centerpiece. Well, this was a pound in Tesco, which I thought was amazing. Uh, and I've got a gold, I've got like a goldfish bowl, um, fruit, fruit bowl. It's like a goldfish bowl. And I'm hoping that that will stand. Charlie, I'm hoping that this will stand inside the goldfish bowl. Um, so that I can put flowers in here and then baubles around the base of the goldfish bowl. I'll show you it when I've done it, hopefully, if it works all right. So I think it'll go through the hole in the top. I've, you know, it's a pretty big one, so I'm hoping it will. So that was a pound. And then I got these flowers from Tesco, which I think are gorgeous. These were um, ten pound, and the, the date on them is, um, I think it's the 30th of... December so they've got a good date on them and I got this these are for my kitchen table or my lounge I'm not sure yet this one is to go in my uh, display for my table um, now it does say that these are guaranteed that, that these can be displayed until the 2nd of January so these have got a good date on as well now this is a foliage bouquet I've not seen these before in Tesco um, so I'm going to use this as part of my centrepiece in my on my table with the baubles and things. Um, now it does state that the gold, the gold foliage, there's some gold like paint as though it's painted, and there's some glittered as well in here. And it does say that it's plastic free, so that's good. If that's if that's right, at least it's not going to be getting going into the ocean and having any negative impact on, on any animals or anything um, because if it hadn't have said that on it I wouldn't have bought it and it's same with the cards I've tried to avoid glittery cards for that purpose unless it says on it that it's ocean friendly kind of thing um, so that's that now my dog is whinging again I've already videoed this once and I had to stop it because he was wee 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 wee, wee like little piggy jack I think it's because he wants to get on the chair, but he can get up there. He's quite capable of jumping up. I think I'm going to have to pick him up. Um, so I will move you over to over here where I've got a lot of my food and stuff on here. I have got, I'll tell you where they're from as I go around and, um, and if they were on offer. So I've got pomegranate seeds. These are for my cheese board on Christmas day and some mixed baby tomatoes those are both from Tesco I got some wedges from Tesco and some oven chips these are from between Christmas and New Year and to use with um, leftover meat and stuff like that I got these for my table display I got some from the pound shop last weekend as well so I'm gonna have a bit of a mix you'll see them when I do my display these are in M&S and they've got 40% off all the decorations at the moment um, and these are shatterproof and the recycled plastic there's 45 in there there's some stars and there's little baubles um, there's some bigger ones at the bottom uh, yes, yeah, so there's a good mix there. Um, so this made these three pound, and it does say keep this box for storage. So that's good. So that's saving plastic as well. Um, so that was three pound. 
which I thought was a bag or bargain, whichever you want to say. Uh, so I'll tell you those. Grapes, these are from my cheese board again, these are from Tesco. I've got some grated cheese for um we're doing some I'm doing some fajita squares, spicy fajita um pockets tomorrow for tea. So this is grated cheese is for that. I've got two big one coleslaw and one uh, Charlotte potato salad there from Marks and Spencers. These are the ones um what weight are they? 750 grams in each of those so they're the big ones they'll last us all christmas and new year um i got a pack of the wafer thin cooked ham because i do the dogs scrambled eggs on a night um and they have a little bit of ham on top now after after christmas day they will have lots of other leftover ham but until then they've only got this little bit so that's fine um, I got a large ready rolled puff pastry pack from Tesco. This is to do my um, cheese, garlic cheese uh, straws for the soup to go with the soup that I made yesterday for tonight. So tonight we're having the cauliflower cheese, curried cauliflower soup, when I get it right, <laughs> by James Martin with his cheese straws. So I'll be making those tonight as well. So that's for that. I was gonna, if you saw the video, I was gonna use the uh, pastry block, but I haven't got it out in time, but it's defrosted now. But I just thought I'd use this, it'd be a bit easier today. So I didn't know how long I'd be at the supermarket. So, um, and then I got some mixers. I've got bitter lemon, ginger ale. I've got orange for hubby, because he likes that. I've got this fresh orange for him on Christmas morning. I got a ready-made, thick custard from m and I bought everything to do my own um, but I thought that, I think it was £2 that so I thought that was a bargain it saved me a lot of hassle 750 grams in there uh, so that's good I got whipping cream from Marks and Spencer sour cream from Marks and Spencer's uh, double cream from Marks and Spencer and then for the recipe I needed an extra thick double cream and I got that from Tesco um, for my gnomes that I'm going to do for my chocolate log, I did the I needed some royal icing. Now I was going to make my royal icing, and then these were on offer in Tesco, so I got two of these. That again, anything to make life easy at the minute. I got two large bottles of milk, ones for the freezer. So it's four pints in each of these. One for the freezer, one's for the fridge, and then I'll wish you over here. Ooh, that went a bit blurry. Now these are, I have got. Portobello mushrooms for the heat for heaters. Just let me pick this boy up because he's whinge, whinge, whinge. Oh, come here. So they're for the fajitas tomorrow. You'll have to go on there, Barnet. There you go. Sorry about that. I'm wobbling about everywhere. Okay. Mixed berries for the cheese board. Strawberries for the champagne on Christmas Day. I've got some bags of salad for this week before Christmas Day. I've got Brussels. These were from Marks and Spencers and the berries were all from Marks and Spencers and the mushrooms. Um, now my carrots, sprouts and let me have a look. Um, I've got a big bag of normal potatoes. Where are they gone? Wait a second, I did have them laid out on here. Oh, it's on the way. Oh, there we are. The big bag, two kilo bag of potatoes from Marks and Spencers were 40p. That's brilliant, 40p for two kilos. Um, and they are ideal for our roasting and baking. Um, so, and the sprouts were 40p, the carrots were 40p, which I think is amazing. That's really good value. Um, I think the bags of salad were a pound. I got two packs of large round tomatoes from my Spencer's and two packs of cherry tomatoes. I want these for some recipes and for to go with my prawn cocktail because I like them chopped up in the bottom. Red grapes for my cheese board from Marks's and a bag of lemons. As I say, these are unwaxed, but I could not get limes. Barney, shush. Excuse him, he's a pain, honestly. As soon as I start talking and it's not to him, he wants to be involved. <laughs> Typical. Anyway, I needed some large oranges, one for inside my turkey and a couple for recipes. And then I've got a box of Easy Peelers. They were £5 for the big um, crate carton. Um, they were a fiver. Um, and lemons for recipe, one for in the turkey. 
one for recipes, one for cocktails. Oh, up there, aren't you? There's my other boy, look, Charlie. He's a good boy, aren't you, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> I got the last two bags of flowering markers as well. Um, this is for after Christmas. Um, I got a self raisin and a plain, and they were the last two. And then in Tesco, I got two bags of baby potatoes. They were a pound a bag. As I say, those are all for next week as well. Um, I got cucumber from Marks and Spencer, spring onions from Marks and Spencer, two lettuce from Marks and Spencer. So there's really no need to stand by, guys, at the moment. There's plenty of stuff in there. Um, radish from Marks and Spencer's, normal brown onions from Tesco, and some leek, because on Christmas Day we're having, uh, sorry, Christmas Eve. I'm doing crispy duck with pancakes. Well, I need leeks and spring onions for those, so that's for those. Celery sticks. Well, I've got two. One we'll use with our cheese board and one we can just use with salad, whatever. Um, I've got my tortilla wraps from Marks and Spencer's with, um, to use for my, pit, pit, my fajita pockets tomorrow when I can speak. Um, paper plates from Tesco, just in case hubby fancies. I don't know, a quick sandwich and I'm not washing up and messing about for <laughs> that. Uh, if I'm busy, if I'm cooking or baking or whatever. So I've got mushrooms for breakfast. Courgettes in case I need to do, I don't know, I can do maybe after Christmas, maybe do frittatas or a stir fry or something like that. So I've got those from Tesco. And then I've got eggs, the, the, the big ones for us for Christmas morning for breakfast if we have eggs or in the week if we have a breakfast uh, and the big ones the big pack at the bottom which are medium eggs they're for the boys for their dinners i got a white loaf from marks and spencer's those are from tesco by the way the eggs this is from marks and spencer i got a fruit and sourdough bread from marks and spencer uh, from tesco's reduced to one pound four that's going to go in the freezer thought that'd be nice at some point over christmas with uh, cheese on maybe toasted and then a cranberry raisin and cashew bloomer um, from Tesco. That's for the cheese board. So I'm going to pop those both in the freezer um, and then get them out on Christmas morning. It'll be fine for this one because it's for uh, the cheese board later that day. Um, I got some part baked baguettes, baked at home baguettes from Tesco. They were a pound with club card, you're a pound. Uh, there's four in there, because you never know. I got a brown super seed loaf from Marks and Spencer to go with our prawn cocktail. I got eight large white caps for bacon sandwiches, if that's what we want. And I got some brioche buns as well. Sometimes it's nice to have a bacon sandwich in a brioche bun. Mm. It's really nice and yummy. Now in my fridge, I haven't put everything away as yet, but I got some... I do prawn cocktails Christmas Day, so I got these from Tesco Crayfish Tails. They're, they're prepared, ready to eat, they're peeled and everything, so that's that. And I got some streaky bacon for the turkey. I got two packs of butter from Tesco. I don't know if I've covered that. It was near the pastry anyway. That's for inside the, under the turkey skin, so that it keeps it nice and succulent, the turkey. And the bacon will go on top of that as well, so that'll help. And then, I just went round into my freezer, some of it I've had to put straight away. I got some uh, cat door ice cream and I got this forest fruit cheesecake as well. So, I think, I mean, my freezer's full anyway. Ooh, zoom out. Ooh, I've got a freezer upstairs and a freezer downstairs and it's chock a block at the minute. So, <laughs> um, you can see all the cards and things up in my kitchen. I've got stuff everywhere, so excuse it being a bit untidy. Um, I get this all tidied up today, get everything put away, and then I might be able to relax a bit. Oh no, because then I'm starting my baking and cooking and things. So, I want to just say to you all that it was busy, but it wasn't overly busy. You could get everything, apart from, as I say, the limes, but it depends what you're after. But most fruit and veg and bread and all that kind of stuff was there. Toilet rolls were there. <laughs> Uh, flour, as I said, I did get the last two packs off the M&S shelf, so whether they've got any more in there or whether it was just um, that they'd run out or whether they were going to restock, I don't know. But there weren't any in Tesco either, in my Tesco. 
So I'm not sure. Can you see the dog's toy box there? It's massive, isn't it? It's full of toys. Absolutely. They're getting a load more as well. So it'll be getting sorted out, all that, and I'll done, wash them all and then donate a lot to Jerry Green as well. Um, so for now, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, happy shopping. Uh, and I'm glad I went today rather than leave it while tomorrow or Christmas Eve because I think it would have been absolute chaos. So take your time, go early, be prepared, try not to get too stressed out, uh, but my, mainly stay safe, look after each other, be kind. And I will see you all very soon when I do my table piece. Thanks for seeing with me guys, saying with me guys when I can speak and look out for the centerpiece video.